Welcome along fellow time travelers. This is Scott Cardinal. In this micro lesson we're going to travel to the Bahamas and check out Johnny Depp's private island. The reason for a micro lesson such as this is to celebrate the homes, gardens, and workspaces of creative people throughout history. It is also to help people understand what the architectural and design elements are when they look at buildings. Also, studying architecture and design can help people increase their powers of observation that could be used in other areas of their lives. So, let's get rolling. In 2004, actor Johnny Depp purchased a 45-acre island in the Bahamas. The private island is named Little Halls Pond K. He reportedly spotted it while starring in 2003's Pirates of the Caribbean. That was because the island of Little Exuma was the location used for filming the Pirates of the Caribbean beach scenes. Little Hal's Pond K is located in the Exuma's chain, which is just 60 nautical miles away from the Bahamian capital of Nassau. It is easily reached from South Florida as well. The Exumas provided many hideouts and stashes for pirates way back when. Elizabeth Harbor was allegedly a favorite lair of Captain Kidd. The late 17th century Scottish sea captain who was tried and executed in London in 1701. And thankfully those days are way behind us. So hundreds of years later, Johnny Depp purchased the island of Little Hal's Pond K for $3.6 million. The island's really awesome. It has rolling hills, a tropical jungle filled with lush botanical wonders, such as silver buttonwood and mangroves, and there are palm trees and coconut trees, and there's red hibiscus and wild poinsettia. When Johnny Depp bought the island, there was nothing on it. So he installed some small residences, all of which are solar powered. And there's even a yurt that was constructed out of bamboo with a floor of fine white sand. And to get around the island, there are plenty of golf carts. The island offers numerous pristine powder white beaches, and it's surrounded by clear turquoise colored water. Depp said he had purchased the island in order to decompress after starring in assorted movies and sometimes just to escape from the craziness of living in Hollywood. It was also a great escape for his friends and family. In fact, he named two of the beaches after his children, Lily Rose and Jack. And another one is named after Vanessa Paradis, and another one is named after Marlon Brando, and another one is named Gonzo, after journalist Hunter Thompson. There's also an area to snorkel named Heath's Place, and that was named after actor Heath Ledger. This island is where Depp and his family and friends could sit on the beach and watch the sun sink down over the horizon while seated directly on the sand, or in chairs, or on benches that were made out of driftwood, or while swinging in one of the many hammocks. Depp also spent over $8 million on a yacht so he could get to and from his island. The boat reportedly required eight crew members and cost between $300,000 and $400,000 a month just to maintain. As of the date of this recording, the boat has since been sold to author J.K. Rowling. Now to get there, what Depp and his friends and family used to do was fly from Los Angeles to Nassau on a charter jet, and then they would board Depp's 156-foot yacht, and then they would head to his island. And for those who are interested, I think I'm going to put together another video just about that yacht. At one point, there were proposals in place to construct a helipad and a seaplane ramp, and the island does have enough space to construct a private airstrip. It is unclear at the time of this recording if any of those things were ever built by Depp or anyone else. The island also has a natural deep water access channel with ample room for larger vessels. As you likely know, the Bahamas is an independent country. It was formerly a British territory for 325 years and it became independent in 1973 and joined the United Nations during that same year. There are no restrictions on foreign property ownership in the Bahamas. In fact, foreigners buying property can apply to the Bahamian government for permanent residency status. The current Bahamian monarch and head of state since the independence of the Bahamas on July 10, 1973 is Queen Elizabeth II. As mentioned previously, at the time that Johnny Depp bought the island, there was no infrastructure anywhere on the property. But he soon had built a ranch-style house with a 360-degree view of everything around it. So no doubt, it is really an amazing place for anyone who was fortunate enough to visit the island. Unfortunately, Johnny Depp had to put his private island up for sale. The listing price was $75 million. Now, at the time of this production, it is unknown whether or not Johnny Depp still owns the island. And if he doesn't, it's kind of unclear why he even had to sell it. 
Now, it might be safe to assume that he either really needed the money, or maybe he just associated it with way too many bad memories from his ex-wife and her bizarre claims against him. It is also unclear whether or not Johnny Depp still owns a nearby island called Osprey Bird Rock. Either way, for the rest of Johnny Depp's life, and for the lives of his family and his friends and all visitors who are fortunate enough to go there, they will always be able to embrace the priceless and wonderful memories of the dreamlike time that they spent at Little Hall's Pond K in the Bahamas. Now, as far as Johnny Depp's Island, if you have any thoughts about this subject matter, please put those in the comments below and share what's on your mind. If you enjoyed this video, please share it, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, I wish you safe travels on all your journeys.